everyone today's our topic is signal converting elements in the unit number 5 signal converting elements so in this chapter we will study about the different signal converting element so the first converter is pneumatic to current converters now in the instrumentation depending upon the requirement we have to convert a pneumatic signal into the current signal so that time we we can connect pneumatic to current converter so generally a pneumatic to current converter or the pneumatic pressure to current converter is the one type of sensor or the transducer it convert the pressure input into the current in the milli ampere range so the pneumatic to current converter is a common instrument in the automation system like a temperature sensor or the level sensor it transmit the data to the other source like plc dcs cada instrument to control system only here the input is pressure and this pressure we will convert into the current so this is the pneumatic to current converter now generally the common application of the pneumatic to current converter is that it is the it is used for the pressure monitor signal conversion light for the plc dcs and scada and the data logger it is used for the weather station it is used for the monitoring refrigeration system okay so this is the diagram of the pneumatic to current converter how we can convert the pressure signal into the current signal so here you can see that in the pneumatic system we will generally use a flapper nozzle system now the input is given to the flap nozzle system or recently and the previous system the flapper and nozzle is in the far away now whenever the pressure is applied to the nozzle system between the input pressure and the nozzle there is some restriction is connected to them now whenever the pressure is applied to the nozzle system generally they will generate a back pressure and it is known as the tb so generally the flapper nozzle gap is larger whenever the pressure is applied to the nozzle the nozzle move up or the down side and the gap will be reduced due to the input pressure now in the flapper nozzle me mechanism we we can connect the lvdt now as you know what is the lvdt linear variable displacement transducer in the lvdt we have used a primary winding and the two secondary winding and the output of the lvdt is like sc1 and sc2 okay so whatever uh, gap is generated between the flapper and nozzle due to the input pressure the bellows will be moved and with the bellows we can connect the lvdt so the core of the lvdt will be moved up and down side and depending upon the core movement input voltage we can get the sufficient current so whatever the output current is requirement we can apply to the input pressure now what is the function of this restriction if the input pressure is applied to the system and that pressure we can get the more current this uh, that value of current is not required for the particular system so we can connect a restriction to the input pressure so it is restrict the input pressure so we can minimize the input pressure and we can also minimize the output current okay so in the pneumatic to current converter generally we can use a flapper nozzle mechanism and what is the advantages of the flapper nozzle it is produce a back current and we can easily convert the pressure input into into the current output okay now the next one is the voltage to current converter now we have to convert a voltage into current okay so what is the main basic fundamental of the voltage to current converter so generally we can connect a sensor for this instrument or for the process and 
display is connected now between the sensor and display there is a large gap between them and whatever voltage is applied to the sensor there is a some voltage drop due to the distance between the sensor and the display so what we can do so we can connect a voltage to current converter between the sensor and the display so we can reduce the distance between the sensor and the display as well as we can convert the voltage input into the current output so how we can connect the volt uh, convert the voltage to current so this is the diagram of the voltage to current converter here you can see that a voltage input is given to the simple resistor and the current flow to through the resistor is at now using the ohms law i is equal to v by r and here the v is v in so the equation will become i is equal to v in upon r here we can assume there is no voltage drop across the load okay Okay. Now the next diagram is voltage input is applied to the system, resistance is connected, and we can also connect a load resistance, and that is indicated as R L. Now as as you know the current flowing to the load resistance is directly proportional for the passive converter. So I I is directly proportional to load resistor so this type of problem is solved by by the active converter so we can draw a active converter using the open circuit here we can use a two terminals the minus indicates the inverting converter a uh, sorry terminal and the plus indicates the non inverting inverting terminals Okay, now in the inverting terminal, we can connect a resistor and we can connect the input supply to the non-inverting terminal. Okay, so input is supplied to the non-inverting -ter non terminal. Between the input to, uh, to output, we can connect the lower resistor, it is RL, and current passing through the RL, it is IL. Now we can apply the current. Suppose the current passing through the R is the I and the current passing through the load resistor it is R. So we can apply the Kirchhoff's current flow. So I is equal to I L and what is the I? I is equal to V in upon R using the Ohm's law that is equal to I L. So we can get I L is equal to V in upon R. Okay, so here you can see that using this equation load current will be directly proportional to input voltage so whatever changes in the input voltage that changes will be affected by the load current okay so generally voltage to current converters are used in the application like led diodes so this is about all about the voltage to current converter next is current to voltage converter now our next target is we have to convert the current into the voltage so the same mechanism same problem we have put a sensor like photodiode and we can put a data equalization system and between the sensor and the system there is a so many gap is there and so uh, and for that we can get the uh, error in this system so between the sensor and the DAO we can connect to I to V converter so uh, also we can connect the current control voltage so it convert the current source into the voltage so so this is the diagram of this active converter here you can see that in the voltage to current converter we can apply the input voltage to the non inverter terminal here we can apply the input current into the non inverting sorry into the inverting terminal and the minus indicate the inverting terminal and the plus indicate the non inverting terminal okay so whenever we apply the current to voltage converter into the active converter at the node a so the input current i n is equal to 
IR and the IR is the nothing but the 0 minus V out upon R. Simplify this equation, we can get V out is equal to minus I in is equal to R. So here you can see that V out is directly proportional to the I N. So whatever input is given to this system, it is directly proportional to the output voltage. So this is the mechanism of the current to voltage converter. Okay, now this is for the system or the circuit. Input is applied to this system and resistance is connected and voltage passing through the resistor is V. So applying the uh, ohms low V is equal to IR. Now we can also connect a load resistance with this system. So the equation will become V1 is equal to I in is equal to I in into RP. Now what is the RP? It is indicate the parallel resistance. Which type of parallel resistance are connected here? R and I, R L. Now if the value of the load resistance is larger than the resistance. So the V1 is equal to I in is into R. So the output voltage V1 is directly proportional to the input current. Okay, this is the trans impedance amplifier for the current to voltage converter. Okay, here we can connect the input source is the uh, current input and the output is via. Okay, now the application of the current to voltage converter is it is used for the photodiode photoresistor digital to analog converter okay and the last one is the frequency to voltage converter in that we can convert the frequency into voltage and for that we can connect a differentiator and the RMS to DC converter here two converter is connected and whatever the output of the converter is going to the VRMS upon VRMS1 and that time we can get the output voltage. Okay. Thank you everyone.